The Klamath River Basin of South Central Oregon and Northern California once supported diverse and abundant fish populations, including one of the most productive salmon runs in the United States. Many of these populations have severely declined, with some edging towards extinction as the watershed over many decades has been increasingly modified by human activities, including construction of four lower Klamath River hydroelectric dams, and water quantity and quality impacts associated with agriculture, ranching, logging, legacy mining, and other stressors. There is a strong desire to restore the Klamath Basin fish populations and the ecological, cultural, health, and economic benefits they can provide to local communities. This includes the prospect of decommissioning and removing four lower Klamath River hydroelectric dams possibly starting in 2023. Although important restoration efforts have taken place over recent decades, most have focused on certain species and specific areas with limited basin-wide coordination. To help coordinate this work at a broader scale capable of supporting basin-wide restoration, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has partnered with the Pacific States Marine Fisheries Commission and ESSA to lead the development of an Integrated Fisheries Restoration and Monitoring Plan, or the IFRMP. This has been done in collaboration with over 100 local restoration practitioners and state and federal resource managers. The vision for the IFRMP is to provide a unifying framework for planning and restoration for the recovery of native fish species from the headwaters to the Pacific Ocean, while improving flows, water quality, habitat, and functional ecosystem processes. The IFRMP is meant to serve as an overarching blueprint for coordinating priority habitat restoration actions throughout the basin without duplicating important work that is underway by many other groups. Since 2016, when work on the IFRMP started, uh, over 100 of these restoration practitioners and scientists have participated in multiple workshops, surveys, webinars, and other peer review uh, and stakeholder review processes to provide information on species, stressors, and restoration projects that can be used to inform priorities. And to help organize all of that information in a way that facilitates ongoing collaborative discussions, ESSA has developed and continues to refine an online interactive web application the Klamath IFRMP Restoration Prioritization Tool that is used to support the plan documents and other foundational research that our team has developed with project collaborators. The Klamath Prioritization Tool is only one of several products generated by the multi-phase IFRMP project. An IFRMP project information website currently provides access to all public products generated by the project. Importantly, this includes methods explainers for the multi-criteria scoring approach that was carefully developed with input from project collaborators and basin experts.